You guys know what this is? It's triethylolamine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Triethanolamine. Tri 99%. Also known as tea. The reason why I have this is I'm going to mix up some 510 Pyro. It's a developer that's been around for a long time and I've never ever used it. I've used lots of staining developers in the past. Currently I'm using um, Pyrocat HD. It's a developer that I've been using for for many many years. So I got my tea and I have to start with 75 mils of this and then I gotta heat it up to like 80 Celsius. Whew, that's pretty hot. And then I gotta add ascorbic acid. Okay, ascorbic acid or vitamin C. And I need to put in, uh, I've got it written down on a piece of paper, five grams, just five grams. So I gotta mix that in. And once I've got that mixed in, I'm gonna put in 10 grams of pyrogallo, which I have. It's, this is really kind of sticky, stinky stuff. Um, you don't want to be breathe. The fumes are really strong. You don't want to be breathing it in. So it's it's best to work in a really ventilated area. Um, I have a ventilator um, that I'll be wearing, and I have a fan that'll be running. So I mix in that, and I need 10 grams of this, and then I need some phenidone, I believe. Yep, I need 0.375 grams of phenidone mixed in. And then I top it up to 100 mils, and that's it. So I'm gonna pour in my tea, or properly known as triethanol, triethanolamine. 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 Seventy-five mils, and I gotta heat it up. Now I don't have a microwave in here in my dark room, so I gotta go upstairs into the house and do it. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever opened this stuff. I've never used this stuff before. I don't even think I can get the cap off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just want to see if it's got any odor. I don't smell anything. Okay, so I'm going to measure off 75. Ooh, syrupy. Okay, I'll we'll just set that off to the side. Yeah, it's syrupy. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to go warm this up. I'll be right back. Probably mic'd it a little bit too long. 84. I need 5 grams of ascorbic acid. 5 grams. A little bit much, a little bit too much. that in and when that's dissolved I'll put in five no ten grams of pyrogallo now I'm going to put in pyrogallo look I am your father this one oh, I gotta get the fan going here I hope you guys can hear me Hmm. Look at that stuff. I can use this stuff for a while. Mix 
inside it. Still pretty hot. And once we get this in, it's uh, 0.375 grams of phenidone. That's hot. It's not very clear, so I can't really tell if it's in solution completely. I think it is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure out the phenidone. 0.375 grams of phenidone. Two, and three. Yeah, that's close. That's good. Yeah, it's the phenidone. Okay, I can I can see through it a lot better. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little bit more transparent. So let's put the phenidone in. The phenidone. And that is the last chemical. The last thing I need to do is top it up to 100 mils with more of the tea. Now, when I'm mixing up pyrocat, <coughs> it calls for phenidone. And the only way I could get phenidone into solution was to dissolve it in some isopropyl alcohol first, and then add that. Then it would go in really nicely. Phenidone's gone in. Really nicely. Mm -hmm. Five ten pyro. Yeah, looks like it's almost in there. A few little granules float around. Yep, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna top it up to a hundred mils with tea. Oh, that's still hot. Holy. I'll try to be as accurate as possible. And that's it. It's all mixed in. That was as easier than I thought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into this little bottle that I have. This will hold 100 mils. I'm going to label it, 5th and Pyro, and I'll put a date on it. And then I'm going to get... Can you guys even hear me? I think you guys heard me, I'm not too sure. But I'm going to pour it in here, label it, 5th and Pyro, put the date on, and um, let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, I'll cap it. And then I'm going to start playing around with this 510 Pyro and see if it's as good as everybody who uses it says. So why don't you guys come along? <laughs>